so I need to have some amendments in the code to make it work with the new GUI. So on the master part, I have declared two variables, one for the character data type, another in integer data type and another character variable which is only used as a temporary purpose. So if the reading is greater than 65 means the ASCII value of that reading is greater than 65 means it is an alphabet. So it would be stored in the first. So like for F, F would go to the first and 2 would go to the integer times. So I'd, all I did is have a for loop from 0 to times into 200. It's like 200 steps or something means which totally depends on you. The rest part of the code is same as the previous ones. Down here I have reset their values, their default ones. And that's all on the master part. Let's see the slave part. On the slave part, I have done the same. You can check out these codes on my GitHub repository mentioned in the description below. Created an Android application as the GUI part for the communication between these robots. So let's test it. Here it shows the connection screen. As I click on the connection button, it prompts me a list. Among this list, I to see lots of paired devices from which I'll choose the one which I need to use right now. So this is the first one. Okay, it's was connecting over here. And yeah, it's connected. So you could see some features over here like I embedded a simple light mode and the dark mode feature like this. I can turn it on and turn it off over here. The basic step is when you would have to move your rover, you can choose a command over here. Like if I have to go forward five steps, I will choose forward. And if I will choose how many steps, then I just need to enter five over here and just send it out. So we do also have an instruction section which would instruct the user for all the steps and stuff and a disconnect button to simply disconnect this communication. Let's go over the instruction page and see what do we really have. Go instruction section I do created a decent small instruction like F is for forward, B is for backward, L is for left, R is for right and a special web browser section where I am so cursing my github and I am simply saying a star would be appreciated on this project. That's all. Thank you. So let's check out how this app actually works. You can also use it to control multiple robots or the swamps as I have done here.